So, I was getting ready to make a new VPX review, when I came across this comment in one of my videos. No originals? Harry Potter, Pizza Time, It Pinball Madness, Blood Machines, Wacky Racers, Monkey Island, come on! Originals are so much fun! You're doing yourself a disservice to ignore them. And you know what? I 100% agree, it is time to start a new series showcasing original tables on this channel, because I am convinced that this will become the true future of the visual pinball platform. Now, I would never insult any creator or content contributor's work, especially because I know how difficult it is to build and code a VPX table, but if you are going to be checking out a bunch of original tables, you need to be warned that there is a lot of this, out there. And I think most users will agree that there is actually too much of this, out there. In fact, when I first got into VPX, this is what actually gave me the inspiration to make the essential table list, to guide new users to top tables without sifting through a bazillion generic titles. Kind of a bad apple spoils the bunch experience. But if you are willing to search the entire tree, you will find gems, and that is what this series will focus on, because good original tables are getting more frequently released, and let's face it. The only new pinball table, that anyone is ever going to play, that isn't at a manufacturer in development, is the VPX creations that these artists release. So, let's get to it. The first original table that I am featuring today is a morph by Hi-Rez00 titled Halloween 1978-1981, original 2022, VPX. This original is graphically spectacular, polished and professionally themed, and for very obvious reasons, a popular smash hit in 2022. The time and effort put into this beauty, is not wasted or unappreciated in the community, and if you are looking for a starter original table to try, this is a good candidate. Now, there is a very small number of people who keep referring to this table as a, quotation marks, glorified re-skinned Medusa table, end quotation marks. But they have obviously never played Medusa in real life, which is one of those tables where you need to wear earplugs to enjoy. No offense to Valley. And if you would rather play Medusa, go deaf. Brooding, dark and immersive. We have a winner. Check this table out. The next original table that I am going to feature today is, IT, Pinball Madness by JP Solace and Joe Picasso. IT, is a great table and gift to the visual pinball community, that is well thought out, plays amazing and stays true to the theme, storyline and objective gameplay it offers. Phenomenal artwork and effects, solid scripting, creepy and driving soundtracks and voiceovers by Unsavory, all add to this table's mystique. And again, there is a small group of probably the same haters that say, quotation marks, this is just Oktoberfest, end quotation marks, which it obviously is not laugh out loud. In fact, the creators of this table said, up front, that they took the layout of Oktoberfest, down to the bones, and the similarities pretty much end there. So definitely give this one a try, don't get distracted by Georgie's floating boat, and stay out of the drain, if you want to save your friends. It. Blood Machine. My favorite original. Play it. Trust me. Thank me later. Widely accepted as one of, if not the best, original VPX tables released to date is V-Pin Workshops, Blood Machines, based on the movie from Seth Ickerman with music by Carpenter Brute. This colossus of content providers did not disappoint, when this table was released to the community, and even converted many pinball purists into recognizing the potential of original table creations. There are many interesting stories, information, and videos of Blood Machine's creation and testing, on its long road to release. I encourage everyone to check them out. I also encourage everyone playing this game to make sure that you have the soundtrack that goes with it, otherwise you are only getting half of the experience. Thanks to the V-Pin Workshop, you are now the captain. Enjoy! the monsters and defeat the gods to claim your right in the journals of history.
Wrath of Olympus, is by definition, the quintessential original table. J.P. Salas created the visual pinball version of this original title, about 11 years ago, based on the Scott Gullicks game, and has been maintaining his version of the table ever since. The Six Flipper, mythological themed table features an open lower playfield, with shots and combos at all angles of the upper playfield, an interesting soundtrack peppered with some Metallica songs, and multiple modes and multiball opportunities. A lot of people don't know, but this was the first pinball table ever to be fully designed in V-Pin main, and then turned into a real table, and JP Solace can be seen giving credit in many of the prototype videos, by Scott and the Riot Pinball team, for contributing to, and popularizing the table in visual pinball. Unfortunately, the real-life, Wrath of Olympus pinball table shares a Magic Girl-style history and never really came to market. But the VPX table is still here with us, for the community to forever appreciate. Check it out! Escape from Monkey Island, version 1.1 by Remdois 1986, is the next table in this original showcase. When this wacky table, based on the Monkey Island video game franchise, first came out, I was actually blown away by how so many features were compacted into this well-flowing and creatively laid out, handcrafted VPX table. It was kind of a twilight zone of the original creation space, at the time. With its multi-level ramps, bash toys, hidden lower playfield and somewhat unnerving multi-ball sequence, Escape from Monkey Island is fun, and a must-try for people who are seeking out cool original tables. Additionally, I wanted to give a shout out to Scotty Wick's Pizza Time. Dude, it's about pizza and it has a spaceship, what's not to like, and the best part of this rad original table is that you can basically watch the table being built, piece by piece, in one of Scott Wickberg's many VPX tutorial YouTube videos. In fact, if you are interested in becoming a creator, I would recommend watching all of those videos, and looking into Scotty Wick's Orbital Framework Pinball software and other VPX tutorials. And that concludes the VPX original showcase number one, with many more to come. I would like to thank Joe Picasso for the wonderful cameo and inspiration for this video. There are more of Joe Picasso's recommendations here also, please feel free to check them out. And thanks also to all of the creators and VPX contributors out there, for their hard work and amazing art. Like I said at the beginning of this video, the only new pinball game that anyone will ever play, that is not in development at a manufacturer, will come from these great VPX artists. And so, I became a creator. I started with this blank table and dead flips, how to make your own pinball machine in visual pinball, crash course, YouTube video, a 2003 version of Microsoft Picture It, Google Images, and a lot of painstaking, and painful trial and error and imagination, and ended up with this. Sands of the Awe Ton. The concept was to make a 1989-1991 style original pinball table and game, that was not so visually unappealing that no one would want to try it.